back everybody I'm here with you as always Gator the legend and uh, today we're just gonna do a just a nice little good car vlog so if you follow me on Twitter if you saw my uh, community update that I put out here on YouTube you probably already know a lot of this but I'm gonna go ahead and recap for you guys so you guys know where I've been uh, I went to Hilton Head on vacation with the family for a week it was awesome we had a great time good good stuff uh, but when we came back my uh, my baby my one-year-old had salmonella poisoning and uh, from that, we all ended up getting it. Uh, when I got it, for some reason, I developed what's called colitis, which is an infection of the colon, which led to many, many more complications than I ever anticipated or wanted. So based on what I've seen from the rest of my family and just from what people have told me, usually with salmonella poisoning, you're just experiencing the diarrhea. Maybe you're throwing up some, uh, but usually it's just diarrhea. And it's like, I mean, it's a rotating door into the bathroom. It's every five minutes, you're getting up, you're going, and you're shitting your brains out. Uh, but because I developed the colitis, uh, my shit had a bunch of blood in it and it was awful. Uh, and I had a fever that was super high. It got to 105 a couple times. I ended up having to be hospitalized and it was just it was a horrible experience. I had to shit in a hat. They call it a, they call it a hat anyways. It's really like a bowl and you put it on the toilet, you have shit in there. They take it and test it. I was under what they called containment, but let's be honest, we know what it's really, really it was quarantine. I was under quarantine for a couple of days before they knew for sure what I had because they didn't know right away it was colitis. They didn't even guess that. It came back and they're like, oh, it's colitis. Uh, but, oh man, it was just, it was fucking awful. So I ended up spending over three days in the hospital and it was just like, I just, I, I feel bad because it was really awful on my family. My wife was scared. She was worried about me. My kids were scared and worried about me. I mean, to be honest with you, I was scared and worried about me. Uh, it, it was just brutal and you know I had just these horrible cramps in my stomach the whole entire time it was so painful uh, luckily they were putting me on pain medication but sometimes that didn't didn't do enough or uh, you know there'd be like an hour and a half after it's worn off that I had to wait before I could take another one and I'm just like just doubled over I could barely talk didn't even look at my phone like and I'm always looking at my phone I'm like not looking at my phone like that that's a sign that I am not doing well uh, it was just it was awful guys I don't wish this on anybody uh, you know, just sitting there looking, uh, it's just scary stuff, scary stuff. Luckily, you know, I'm good now, obviously, I'm talking to you guys. Uh, but I was like, even for a week after, I mean, it's been almost a week after since I've, it has been a week since I've left the hospital, and it's taken me this long to get all my energy back and completely, you know, recover, which I still don't think I'm 100%, but I'm like 95% probably. Uh, but like my energy was just down. I lost 10 pounds, uh, which was, I mean, some people would say that's nice, but when I think it was in all blood and shit, I, uh, you know, I don't look like I've lost 10 pounds, I don't think, other than my face looks a little sickly. Uh, <laughs> but man, it was, gosh, it was so it was so bad. So bad, I don't know why I, why I got it so much worse than everyone else in the family, but it, I'm, I'm glad, knock on wood, that they didn't go through what I went through, and I hope no one else has to go through it. But I'm back, hopefully I can get back to making some videos. Uh, which I miss doing. I miss, you know, I was starting to get on a roll there, of course, and then I go on a vacation and this shit happens to me. I mean that literally and figuratively. Uh, but yeah, no, it was so bad. So bad, guys. So bad. So I'll end up with saying look forward, guys, for some more Gator the Legend videos coming up for you soon. Uh, got lots of big plans for the channel. Big plans. Big plans. Um, I kind of feel like I've been flying under the radar lately with my content, which... It's kind of a good feeling because there's like no pressure, but on the same level, it's like uh, I kind of miss the the amped up, constant talk, constant flying back and forth, whatever going on. So maybe I'll try to do something a little controversial. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, just look forward to some more content. It's going to be fun. Maybe I'll do a, a live stream at some point uh, in the next month or so and like schedule it out so everyone can be there and know about it. And we'll just have a good time, talk, chit chat, maybe read some Dr. Seuss books. I don't know. But until next time, thank you guys so much for being here. As always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace out.